Okay, this is tank number three in my fin bin. And what it is, it's a 40 gallon breeder. Now this tank has been up and running for about three years, but it was set up for fish and had Neocaridina water parameters. Well, I decided I wanted to turn it into a Caridina parameter tank. So I drained the water out, reworked some of the substrate, added uh, my volcanic um, substrate back in on top of the sand and trimmed up a few of the plants, but mostly left the majority of them where they were. Now, some did get dislodged in the, you know, in the midst of changing out the waters and everything, but, you know, all in all, I just kind of left it the same, didn't want to disturb too much. Something I have learned, and I've had to learn it the hard way, is that when you have caradina shrimp, don't mess around with your substrate, because you could release some bacteria in there, and then maybe your shrimp might pick it up and then, you know, could kill your whole entire colony. That is just one of the ways that can happen. So, in order to eliminate any possibility of that, any plant that's in there now will only get pinched off, cut, nipped off, or whatever you need to do, but it will not get pulled out of the substrate. <laughs> that I have learned all too well. And the people that I learned this kind of stuff from are people that I follow and I trust what they tell me. So I, from moving forward from that, that's, that's the ideals that I'm going to use in my shrimp tanks. Now the Neo Caradina, I have set up maternity wards for them because this water might be too soft for them to have their babies and be able to molt and you know do what they need to do to survive as those first months are so important. So when the mamas get, you know, buried, I move them into the maternity ward, let them have their babies, and then I move the mamas back. And then once the babies are, you know, a month or two old, I move them back into the tank too. And that way, it just, hopefully that will help. So this is tank number three. And right now I have our blue tigers, which are the stars, and the fire red, uh, extreme red from Papa Shrimp. The R Blue Tigers are from Shrimp, Shrimp Envy. And of course I have a nice handsome beta in there too, along with some mystery snails. But this is it.